I'm Michael back uh, going to commit to putting in the fuel level probe uh, into the top of the fuel tank today uh, I think there comes a time in every kit builders um, duration that they they truly are worried about something and today I'm worried about putting this in because I'm sort of moving away from what Sonics have recommended which is probably a lot easier to do because it comes with uh, what I believe in Sonics's installation a, a very similar type of oops fitting which are these and these are very very easy to put in by the way uh, very very simple to put in uh, but the way that I'm doing it is going to be very very complex uh, the main issues that I have with putting this in is how do I fix it to the top of a nylon tank um, with a mechanical uh, nut and bolt or a mechanical threaded screw when you're going into a let's call it nylon or poly whatever the tank is made of uh, you're working into a into a, if you tap this it's going to at some stage probably cross thread or something like that if you're removing this in a few times so how do I do this into a tank that is going to work each and every time if it has to be replaced and let's call it I pull it out 10 times or something like that during the build and recalibrate or whatever so uh, long story short I'm either going to uh, stuff this up completely and make an absolute fool of myself and uh, and create a $500 uh, dollar mistake to buy a new tank or I'm gonna look good so I might bring the tank uh, sorry the camera over here closer and I'm just might just go through what I've done and how I'm going to make this work on the top of the tank and mechanically fix it into a nylon tank into stainless steel okay so effectively I'm going to drill a hole this size into the tank and one two three four five holes that fit an M4 screw through or a, or a nut and bolt or a bolt through and I'm also going to drill in two locations so if you look at the way this washer looks I've made it in two halves and I'll explain why I've made it in two halves in a minute I've got a provision with a nut on the underside of that welded for this M5 countersunk screw to go through the tank so I'll countersunk through the top of this tank and screw that into each of the two halves which will then hopefully pull that up tight enough in that location in a fixed location like that which will allow me on the top side of the tank then to put that washer on and then drop this down over top of the these and put some nylax nuts on the top of these five or temporary nuts on there as I'm calibrating this because I may have to pull this in one or two times I don't know if it's to be calibrated in the tank or outside the tank so my first objective is to put it into the tank that it is going to be removable and removable in such a way that it's mechanically going through a proper threaded uh, nut each and every time that's if that makes sense, I think this will work. Uh, that allows me to put this in, bring these cables back to the um, electronic circuit breaker, ECB. Uh, that's where I believe it goes back to, which it does go back to. So uh, if that makes sense, and what I've done, it's going to either work or it's not. So I might uh, start and commit to this and um, Hopefully this is going to work.
okay I've just laid the washer down in this location and it's it's it is noted on the drawing that each it looked a bit funny it looked like it was twisted to me although I've got that hole on that lined up and it does actually say on here that these angles for whatever reason are different this this angle here for that that is 66 degrees the other one is 72 degrees and I think the only explanation I can give you for that is there's probably some components and maybe there's only one way this can orientate perhaps or there's something inside there that um, allows it to only go through that point I don't know so I'll just take it for the orientation uh, purpose only and I'm going to commit to to that so I'll just mark these uh, holes out at that That looks like it. Welcome back. Okay, I have uh, drilled it. I'll give it a little bit of a clean up with some some light sandpaper or some light um, emery cloth or whatever, and um, 
Now the hole saw I have was just underside of that, so it doesn't actually slip in, but it will slip in like that. So I've now got to work out how I'm going to bring it up through the hole. Uh, but so far, it's good. Uh, the countersunk holes fit in there beautifully. They're nice and uh, flush with that. I don't think there's any need to, to run it down any lower than that. I might just give it a little bit of a whirl. Uh, but uh, fingers are crossed. Hopefully this is gonna, gonna work out. So I'll just uh, give, give it a bit of a clean up um, and then I'll um, see how I go working out how I'm gonna get these washers in there.
Okay. Well, it actually worked out a lot easier to do than I anticipated. I was a little bit um, concerned about dropping the components inside the tank, uh, which didn't happen. Uh, they, I was a bit concerned about them not lining up, but because it was in two halves, it was made with a laser cutter, so it was the tolerances were, were next to nothing. Um, and everything I think worked out extremely well. I don't have any fear about having to replace this in the future. Um, even if it's something that uh, doesn't align with the holes, I'm sure there'll be a way of uh, retrofitting something in there or whatever, even in making a blank for the top of this and capping it off and, and putting it in another location. I don't know, but um, let's hope that I don't have to replace it. Uh, nice and neatly, I can put a bit of a black conduit uh, into that which will hide under the glare shield I guess and um, I think it, uh, it worked out okay uh, the only thing I did do was drop one of the the nuts in there you'll probably see it dropping there in the video and um, I'm sure I'll be able to get it out but uh, now it's the job of giving this tanker an extremely good washout whatever the instructions say I think it's with soapy water or something along those lines give it a really good uh, wash out and dry uh, and then I can actually start to put all the uh, all the fittings on this tank and fill it full of fuel, let it expand uh, and go from there.